Welcome, my single solitary viewer, to Sneaky Craft, and it's uh, modded 1.10 Minecraft. Ooh, look at look at this. This already looks great. So uh, there are two reasons why I uh, decided to play this. Well, for the first one is I like survival Minecraft. All right, I, I'll enjoy it. I enjoy me some survival Minecraft. But vanilla Minecraft is getting stale. And even with the addition of llamas and all that sort, even with the addition of llamas, it's getting kind of played. And, uh, but look at this. This is the realism Terran generation. I think uh, New Dawn did one of their seasons with that mod or a version of that mod. Uh, to create the Terran generation, and, and we're in a Mesa, which looks fantastic. I've tried uh, to play this twice to adjust uh, settings and get settings with which I could record, and uh, the addition of Optifine was what I needed. But here we are, so that's my third, actually, play uh, in Sneaky Craft. And I have some frame rate issues now and then, but it's generally not so... not, not terrible. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to find a, a food giving biome at some point though. Oh, that's a food bay. That's a food giving biome, a village. Yeah. So Minecraft 1.10, even 1.11 with the addition of lava llamas, is getting a little old. Like um, uh, the the new combat system doesn't actually make things more fun to me. It makes things more tedious. Uh, and there's not a lot. There's not enough additions to sustain my interest. Um, like just llamas. Llamas are great. And well, of course, there are a few more more things. Uh, the expansion of the end is a really good thing, most notably. So I'm not going to be all down on it and say that it's uh, all bad. It's that um, over the years, you know, we've played Minecraft so much. We're kind of expecting a little more. And uh, that's what I mean. Oh, yes, a saddle. That's what I mean. Displacement 1. Push blocks forward. I'm going to leave that there. Teleportation 1 sounds like a definite keeper right now, though. So basically, uh, you expect more. And this mod pack right here, to me, gives me the experience of Minecraft, but with the addition of the things I, I would be expecting normally by 1.10 or 1.11, right? So it's still got that, you know, it's, uh, it's survival and, you know, there's no spaceships, there's no really super complicated mods, there's no, uh, blood magic or, or stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's more conventional mods and mods that are, uh, in my opinion, in the spirit, keeping in this basic vanilla spirit of Minecraft. Uh, for the most part. See, there, there are multiple versions of animals. So you got the normal pig, the default pig, and uh, there's default chickens and all that stuff, default uh, sheep, and so on, but there are also the additional breeds. Kind of kind of like the, the horses, except they officially have names, but otherwise they're, they're, they're the same, right? But look, look, see, look at these cows. Guernsey. Mm. Uh, and, uh, there's all kinds of cows from Black Angus to, ooh, a desert. Desert, uh, do I have enough food to, eh. I'm gonna try to get, uh, I need a little bit of iron. And I need to find sheep, actually. So before, before I explore the desert, I need to find sheep because it's important for me to make a bed for the first night. Why? Because, oh, look, see, I was talking of Black Angus. There they are. Black Angus, and I think that's British white next to it. <laughs> because, of course, if it's British, it's white, isn't it? <laughs> See, the savannah has a little cactus in it. This is great. Love, love the look of, of that we got here going on. It's rocking. It's rocking like a Novocaine hurricane. Tin, get, go away. Copper, go away. Bauxite, go away, bauxite. Nobody loves you. Well, perhaps it's really good, <laughs> uh, but here I'm really looking for this. Heck. Mm. 
Moonstone. Okay. Oh. Whoops. Whoops. Ooh. Hole. Did you see the loot in this chest? That's a massively big chest. I like I like uh like this chest like I like my women. Wow wow. Okay. I uh, don't need another quartz. I'll take the ender pearl. I don't think I need anything else in here. As I travel. Conduit probe. I'll, I'll at least get it out of there. Music disc. Alright. Whoop. Didn't I tell you to shush? What? Go away. Oh, I forgot to... I don't have a shield. Oof. Man. Almost dying is horror is rough. Oh no, the sun is setting. Need sheep, need sheep. Need sheep, need sheep. I don't want to dig myself in a hole for, for 10 minutes. Oh, those are cows. Those are cows. White things. Are those sheep? Oh, these are sheep. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll definitely go in here. I don't know why. The fact that it's a ruined structure makes it feel safer for me. Ah, I, I, I wanted to dye it. Because the bed is the color of the wool you make it. And, you know, white white bed is boring. <laughs> white bed is boring, but it's going to have to do for the first night. I'd be glad to find some horses and explore on horseback. That would make things so much easier for moi. Okay, I got a little bit of gear now, but look, look at these magnificent trees. And look over there, the way a swamp can look, right? Whang, that looks great. And there's like variety among the trees. Every once in a while, there's a tall one or there's a dead tree. That's, it looks so much better than, you know, vanilla. Look at this beautiful Holstein Friesen. Huh? It's a beautiful little cow that I have just mercilessly slaughtered. I want to go back to the desert because the desert, you know, got temples and all that kind of stuff. So I want to, I want to, on a first day, that's the kind of thing I want to do. Okay, technically it's the second day, but I mean the first episode. <laughs> Look at how great this desert looks. And of course... Uh, it, it looks like there's a lot more vegetation than than you're used to in a Minecraft desert, but real deserts don't have... Oh, this is a, a good location to note, uh, because these is all filled with spawners. So you don't want to be here at night, but... Uh, uh, okay, this one is just ruins, and that one is just a structure with torches, but there's, there's nothing else. <laughs> There's nothing else. It just looks like this. It's great. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking for de for desert structures because the... Oh, it's one of those uh, Mesa mine shafts, except that, uh, <laughs> except that it's a little bit too high. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh, look, look. Ooh, a golden apple. And a shovel kit. I don't know what to do with a shovel kit. Oh, I thought I... Oh, I already had boots. Well, what a dumbass. Uh, I, I already had boots and I, I crafted additional boots. I should have crafted a helmet. Uh, so this is survival. So yes, I'm going to leave the ingots there. Ugh. Why am I carrying these ingots? Dark steel and man 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 steel. Oh, this is like, do not update this. Do not update this. Do not grab a string. Just do not update it. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look, look at that. Uh, look at that Easter Easter Island guy. I love it. Yeah, so far as I can tell, there's really nothing to it more than just an Easter Island guy. That's it. <laughs> but it's just fun to find these things 
as you explore. It makes exploring more fun. Instead of just hoping just for the desert temple or just the jungle temple or oh, we've seen we've seen those before and the sun is going to set on on us soon. Uh, I'd be all good with finding a horse though because I don't want to look at these look at these gray sheep. No, OK, I guess it's a black Welsh mountain sheep. They're great. They look great. What is that? Oh, those, that's a little house, and that, that little house, it's a little miner's house. And uh, there's a little quarry, and a little bed, and it's great. Ah. Did a coast by boat, and ooh, it had magically disappeared. And found this village! And I'm gonna actually take the fence. I've been taking the fences, because I'm gonna need to build uh, a thing for cows so I can eat lots of meats and steaks. And, uh, you know, you need to chop a lot of trees to make some fences. Or you can steal fences and not have to chop that many trees. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a, uh, okay, I'm gonna have, well, you know, I have the map, as you can see, installed, so I'm gonna be able to find my way back. Uh, but this is the the stuff with uh, the honey stuff and, uh, and uh, uh, escritoire or forestry. And then there's storage crates ooh, with stuff inside. The fabric, iron rod, aluminum. That's all stuff I'll, I'll come back and get at some point. But I, you know, I just don't have that much room in my inventory. I can't carry all, all... I can't carry all the things. As you can see, I decided to obtain this horse. I basically just tamed him right over there. Which actually was right next to the village. And now there's another village <laughs> right up here. And that one is pretty derpy. Whoa! This is, this is pretty derpy. <laughs> Look at those majestic forests with the super, super tall trees where mobs like generate like crazy, the, the hostile mobs. Ooh, do they ever love, they love them. Shadowy spaces underneath those, that great big canopy. And that's not even the roofed forest. Well, okay, no, some of it is actually the roof forest. Ooh, and see, see how, how much creepier it is when you get the cobwebs on it? Uh oh. Let's go. Oh, lots of creepers. Oh. And a, a baby uh, Ender Mini. <laughs> it's not an Enderman, it's an Ender Mini. Yes, it's in, it's in the mod. Uh, let me get out of this hellish forest because as you can see, it's, it's way more, <laughs> it's way scarier in here. Uh, with all the mob generation like that. Oh. And this terrain is called farmland biome. And wouldn't you have it, there's farmlands in here. Well, I found my first diamond, not quite where I expected it. <laughs> I got the diamond, right? Yep, yep, sure do. I sure do. Let's keep, let's keep exploring. Find a place to call home. I think I will set up here. There's a village nearby that you can look at uh, the mini-map up there, or you can see it barely at the render distance. There's a village over there. Uh, there's this nice swamp here that's looking pretty good. I like the style, uh, the variety, but I am uh, I think I want to set up in the mesa so I can get more gold and snack on gapples. And I'm um, considering... Making a bridge base between those two plateaus would be pretty fun, right? So, I'm already getting set up over here. Oh. And I killed a creeper, but most importantly, what is this? Is that some super dungeon? I don't know if it's a super dungeon, but it's some kind of dungeon. That's interesting. Right in my base. Alright, well, with that find, I'm going to end uh, the first episode right here. 
And uh, I hope you can check out this series because we're going to have fun building some stuff. We're going to have fun discovering some stuff. So stay tuned as the rest of this base shapes up. I'm going to have to build a uh, little ranch and perhaps a carrot farm so I can make all manners of uh, golden carrots to snack on. And uh, did I? What, the, what was that noise? Oh, it was that cactus over there. The end.